Hello and welcome back here on my English YouTube channel about my Lego City project called Brickworld. Today's update, we are going back to our big building. You can see it right now. It's the Oscorp Tower. We're going to work once again inside and especially outside, making the entrance area more prominent, bigger and better. So stay tuned for today's update here. It's going to be a lot of stuff. We're going to go higher, more lights, more stuff. So stay tuned. First of all, I want to show you that we are going to rework that entrance area because it's a little bit too, yeah, not big enough for that building it should be. So we're going to add some more height to the entrance area by adding a higher uh, arcade system here. By that I'm adding or I'm resizing the columns here. I'm adding more stuff. You can see we're using these modified bricks, putting on these tiles that adds these little nice edges on the edge of every uh, of that column and we're going up um, another floor so we have that very big entrance area with very high columns making it look like more, more ancient building and I think it's exactly the kind of look we need for a building like the Oscorp Industries Tower and here you can see what I mean with that. As you can see I'm adding right now the windows for the upper part and inside it's like uh, we are having a big entrance hall with a height of two floors. And I think, as I said, that's making it a big entrance area and making the, it's like a style of a church where you should have that feeling of being, you know, not, well, not big, but very small in a high building. So you're very small and the building is very big. It's like a sign of power. And that's, I want to have uh, when you come inside or when you're standing in front of that Oscorp tower. And I think it's a very important part. As you can see, we're going up and up. That's going to be almost the final height of the entrance area with the columns. Of course, the columns in front, we need to build up once again. But you also can see that I inside, I have started working at the electricity system. And also you can see here's the connector. So as always, it's going to be a modular building. So we can put away every floor if you want to go down or just see what's inside. I also like how that entrance area with that arcade and that balcony inside is going in a much more better way. It's a better solution. I really like also the look of these colors. And here we are going to add some kind of a railing or something like that later. I'm not sure right at the moment. We need to check that later. And that's the final height of that entrance area. As you can see on top, we have tiles and modified tile sets where the next um, level is going to be placed it's in the modular style. And it looks much better, I think. We have more of that big look and really that um, look of kind of power. It's better than these smaller arcades we had before. I mean, it was too small, as I said. And I really like the combination of outside very big, inside very big about. And also you can see that I'm... Uh, yeah, we were using some kind of the styling elements from our rounded part. And yeah, but for now, I think we should add some more of the street in front to have a better look of the final view. And then we can work on the other side, maybe inside, just where we can do some more stuff for today. But the biggest and important part was working at that entrance area. Even from that angle, you can see right now where I have that speed build of adding some more uh, street style in front of it. And, but it's a very nice angle. You can see the little mini figures and it's, it's that kind of very big building, impo imposing building, some big building. And in front, you can see now adding a lot of one by two tiles in dark bluish gray to work or to add the next part of the street. Just that speed building shows you how many parts are needed to add just a little part of street here. And I also decided to add um, a kind of arrow here because we are in that area of that bus terminal and it's an one way turning around because you drive in from the one side driving through the um, terminal then you can go out on the other side so that's the arrow just adding a little detail i'm not sure if i should leave it here in front of the building or remove it and put it somewhere else that's something you can yeah put in the comments under the video by the way i I added some more parts here. As you can see, I added two white strip lights and one aqua blue in the middle because that aqua blue light is also a very nice color using here inside to make it more technology, more modern look. And as you can see, that's the first part of the upper floor. 
it's going to be put on that big columns here and then we have that combination of um, white light and the qua blue light in the middle and I really like that combination here in the arcades and then we have the very nice blue light it's a little bit like in Independence Day if you remember that movie and yeah I really like the look it's so much better and by the way here uh, I have installed the railings and yeah that's by the way my um yeah Osborne minifigure um I think it looks quite nice it's not the final place for it of course it's going to be later placed in a more upper floor in his uh, office uh, but for now he's standing here looking down in the hall and yeah I think we are on a very good way and the building itself got a lot more of style and a lot more of that look I want to have it with that rework that reworking and stuff like that by the way uh, next step is to work here in that rounded area I'm not quite sure how we're going to do that by the way, I also added a new Oscop Industry sign here on top of it. A bigger sign. More, also added these two lights here. Added more on top of it. The cables are just laying here. That's not the final solution. Just for testing today. And also there's missing a um, connector. Um, but that's something we can change later. When I do have more of the needed parts from my light system. Which I use from Light My Bricks. Going back a little bit with the camera, we can see how it looks. Of course, it's a big, big um, construction here at the moment. But when you look at the entrance area, you might have an, yeah kind of feeling how the final building will look at the end. And I think that was a very good and a very important decision to rework that entrance area because it, yeah, that's the look of that big company, that very big company. You're just a small man or a woman, and there's a big building symbolizing Oscop on it. Industries, one of the biggest companies in the country, a very big company in technology and stuff like that. And I really think that the entrance area, the new entrance area here, yeah, symbolizes that very, very good. And yeah, I really like how it looks right now and that's something we can use at a base for future updates here at the Oscorp building as always feel free to write it in the comments by the way I'm thinking about adding a poster like we have it here the billboard because um, here Norman Osborne wants to be the mayor of the city maybe we are going to put it on that big white wall here on the left side because it's a white big wall I do not know what to do with that so maybe I'm just adding another billboard with that yeah, vote uh, Osborne for mayor. But that's it for today, I think. Thanks for watching. Until next time and bye.